The year was 1665, a time when London was a bustling city full of life and activity. The plague, a disease more feared than any other, descended upon London like a dark shadow, bringing with it an unimaginable horror. It was a time of great fear and suffering as the disease spread rapidly through the crowded streets and alleys. The city was a death trap. Thousands of people died, their bodies piling up in the streets. The plague was terrifying, an invisible enemy that spared no one. It started with a fever, a seemingly harmless symptom that quickly turned deadly. Then came chills and vomiting, symptoms that left the afflicted weak and helpless. Swollen, painful lumps appeared on the body, a clear indication that the plague had taken hold. These were the telltale signs of the plague, unmistakable and dreaded by all. Death often followed within days leaving families devastated and communities in mourning. The plague was a killer that stalked rich and poor alike showing no mercy to anyone regardless of their status or wealth. No one was safe from its grasp. The fear was palpable as people realized that they could be next. The city was in chaos as people tried to flee the disease, abandoning their homes and loved ones in a desperate attempt to escape the horror that had befallen them. London in 1665 was a city of contrasts. Grand houses lined the streets yet poverty was rife. The streets were narrow and crowded. Worse, they were awash with filth. Garbage and human waste rotted in the streets. The stench was overwhelming. The River Thames, once a source of life, was now a sewer. It was a breeding ground for disease. Rats thrived in these conditions. They were everywhere, scurrying through the streets and homes. Few knew these creatures carried a deadly secret. The plague was spread by fleas. These tiny insects lived on rats. The fleas bit infected rats, then they bit humans. The plague spread quickly through London. The crowded conditions in London helped the plague spread. People lived close together. They had little understanding of how to stop the disease. The plague was a terrifying enemy. It was invisible. It was deadly. It seemed unstoppable. Section 4. Facing the Invisible Enemy. The Lord Mayor of London, Sir John Lawrence, took drastic measures to fight the plague. His leadership was crucial during this dark period. Houses were shut up if plague was found inside. Families were confined to their homes, often with little to no support. Red crosses were painted on the doors. This marked the house as infected, warning others to stay away. Lord have mercy upon us, was written on them. These words were a plea for divine intervention and mercy. Trade with other cities was stopped. Large gatherings were banned, the bustling markets and lively streets fell silent, the dead were buried in mass graves outside the city walls, these measures were desperate, the sheer number of deaths overwhelmed the city, they showed how afraid people were, fear was palpable, spreading as quickly as the disease itself, they also showed how determined they were to survive. Despite the fear, the people of London displayed remarkable resilience and courage. Section 5 in the plague's shadow. By the autumn of 1665, the plague was in retreat. The worst was over. London slowly began to recover, but the city would never be the same. The Great Plague of 1665 killed an estimated 100,000 people. It left a scar on the city. It also left a legacy of fear and superstition. Section 6, Echoes of a Plague Year. The Great Plague was a tragedy that struck fear into the hearts of Londoners. It was also a turning point in the history of the city. The outbreak forced Londoners to confront the unsanitary conditions of their city, which had been neglected for far too long. The plague led to significant improvements in sanitation, as people realized the importance of cleanliness in preventing disease. New laws were passed to clean the streets and manage waste more effectively, marking the beginning of modern public health measures. The Great Fire of London in 1666, though a disaster in itself, inadvertently helped to destroy much of the remaining infection by burning down the crowded unsanitary areas. The Great Plague was a stark reminder of the power of disease and the vulnerability of human populations. It also showed the resilience of the human spirit as communities came together to support one another in times of crisis. Even in the face of such adversity, London survived. It rebuilt itself from the ashes, stronger and more resilient, and it learned from its past, implementing changes that would shape the future of public health and urban planning for generations to come. 